फाइनल कंडीशन और स्टडी स्टेट कंडीशन आफ्टर अटेनिंग द स्टडी स्टेट हाउ दिस सर्क्यूट एलिमेंट बिहेव दिस थिंग्स वील स्टडी इन दिसन फर्स्ट अ रजिस्टर नाउ एज आई टोल्ड द नेटवर्क समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड इट इज स्विचिंग स्विच एंड द रजिस्टर now here as i told this is switch is closed at t is equal to 0 and after sufficiently long time maybe t is equal to 5 second or t is equal to infinity very large time what happens to this resistor now as this resistor is a energy consuming device consumes energy in the form of heat so this resistance behaves instantaneously so here resistor becomes resistor only before after the steady state it behaves like a same pattern so resistor remains the resistor no changes in the resistivity resistance of the element so it will remain same whether it is just after switching or after sufficiently long time this resistor behaves like a resistor now let us see what happens to resistor and capacitor now inductors so whenever this now as i mentioned after sufficiently long time so i'll consider this switch is closed and inductor now once the steady state is reached what happens to this current i i remains the constant because the flux linkage in this inductor becomes constant because of its capacity inductance its maximum capacity phi max is a constant as the time goes on this inductor reaches the maximum flux once the it reaches the maximum flux i is constant current through the inductor also will become a constant now when the current is constant what happens to vl inductor voltage we know that inductor voltage is l dl by dt now if i is a constant this vl becomes zero so vl of infinity becomes zero so that means this inductor at a steady state behaves as voltage is zero so voltage is zero means voltage is zero when element is short circuited so this inductor acts as a short circuit now this the voltage across the inductor is zero because current through the inductor becomes a constant now initially if it is carrying some current i not now as in the case of uh, just after switching what is the current just before switching now here initial current i of 0 just after switching it is carrying a current i so in this case this current source comes in a parallel with a short circuit that means this current flows in the coil itself 
it is not going out of the coil. So if there is any initial current, then that current I0 will remain in the coil and it flows in the coil only. It is not going out of the inductor. But very rare cases of application of this. So we are concentrating only on the short circuit. Coming to a capacitor. Now, in the steady state, what happens to the capacitor voltage? Capacitor voltage Vc is constant. So, at the steady state, charges accumulated on capacitor place becomes a constant. So, voltage across the capacitor becomes the constant. So, for this example, we can consider a battery. You can charge a battery up to certain extent. Once it is reached the hundred percent, then whatever the supply if it is given, it is remains the same. This we might have seen in the mobile charging. While charging, once it reaches the hundred percent, then it remains the hundred percent only. It is charged continuously. It will not increase because the capacity is reached. So, voltage across the capacitor becomes a constant. So, now what happens to the current? IC. IC is C DVC by DT. We know that current uh, through the capacitor is C DVC by DT. Now, when VC is a constant, this IC at the steady state becomes zero. That means at the steady state, the current through the capacitor becomes zero. When the current through the capacitor is zero, current is zero. So what happens? Capacitor becomes open circuit. So at the steady state, capacitor behaves as an open circuit. So if I summarize all this, so, initial resistor will remain as the resistor only with the resistance R. This is T equal to 0 plus and T is equal to infinity. Means steady state or final condition. Now, inductor acts as a short circuit and the capacitor acts as a open circuit. Capacitor acts as a open circuit. Now, why this final condition is required? So what is the application of this? Transient behavior initial condition to check just after the switching what, how the system behaves and to identify the adverse effect whether it breaks the system or not because of the sudden switching. Now after a sufficiently long time in a st uh, and the uh, element reach the steady state, what is the necessity of finding a final condition? behavior of the elements during final condition. So these things I will explain 